Blizzard Zone out at the bottom lane here. Gonna see the sheep, oh. but, but the sheep picks up the bounty <laughs> rune. Yep. I saw a piglet though. In comes Impale, up on two. Q still taking a lot of damage. It might actually be first blood. No, the tornado coming in from Shiki. That helps. In the meantime, the charge is going off as well. Goes to two. Phoenix up on the hill. The axis is not hitting. There is your first blood. Finally, with one axe from aggressive still reaching there. As the tree protector will go down as well. It's a double kill for aggressive. Storm gets away. Five heroes. Every single hero of C deck was there at the bottom lane. Make sure that C deck might not want to fight because of that Aegis. Oh. But oh, the healing ward actually scattered out. The healing ward on the high ground got scattered out by the by the ward, and that might actually be the death of the juggernaut. Global Sun is coming out. Juggernaut already dead though. Roshan alive for the moment. No sun anymore. As Stroll was able to kill off that phoenix. Suicide coming out from Storm Spirit with his newly acquired Bloodstone, and that is trouble for LE. He's not visible right now, but Zeus is he close by? He is close by. He has a lightning blade, and he will be able to use it. Central ward even gets placed as well, just in case. I'm over here! Oh, jumping in, in comes the global silence! Only after Zeus ultimate though, everybody being visible. Old chicken already going down there, you'll be dying. Oh, way too deep, in way too deep! He is gonna get the support Zeus, but I think he'll pay for that one with his life, and that would not be worth it if he ends up going down for that. Leech cheats still up him out a bit. It impale Earth Spike coming out. Will be yeah. enough. God has played really, really consistently this game. Got worked down, and there's some more action in the bottom. Yeah, the charge comes off. Juggernaut doesn't have a teleport for another five seconds, so he's forced to fight for now. In comes the supernova. They're looking to try and take it down, but Spirit Break himself is not going to do it. Spirit Break will go down, but the troll is here. He has going to speak if he's still not used it, though, but now he does. The bash has come out. That's going to be bash up on Fan, who is a chicken as well. We'll end up going down. No more Juggernaut. Phoenix Bird, the only one left alive. And for how long? Not for very long, as Aggressive gets a double kill for that one. The tower will fall. Dyer's in succession of that as well, attack. and a great fight, and again, going the way of C-Deck, and Energy Pacemaker, their, their hopes and dreams of going to uh, participate in the summit are, uh, well, are Dyer's kind of fleeting right now. Is under attack. Why, thank you. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's very little that anyone can do. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think Old Chicken has seen people do this, where they zip in and instantly zip back out again to harass. He forgot the zip back out part. Yeah, also got her. Like, as he came in, sheeped yeah. instantly. Oh, he was on point with that one for sure. I agree. Under attack. Yeah, there's very little that they can do against this troll warlord. He's just so tanky, he's gone for Scotty, Black King, Vars, Sanjun Yasha. So tanky, does so much damage. And... EP are gonna tap out. Yep. They are indeed. They still have uh, a long way to go. Radiant I was victory. more impressed with them in game one than I was in this game. Game one, they had a, a solid plan. Unfortunately, they couldn't continue their momentum that they built up in the early game, but this game is just, it, it got out of control so fast with that troll just getting a double kill off the bat, including first blood. It's not really where you want to be heading uh, in a situation like that, so. There's a tier 1 tower where everybody can teleport into. We do have a teleport available on the Juggernaut, as well as on oh. the Skywrath Mage. Hookshot in first. Ember almost dead already. Will be able to jump away though, but he lives. And I don't think it's going to be the, as lucky as for the Vengeful Spirit. He'll end up going down the Shrek though. Dies for that as well.